Greetings and welcome to Revna Den. This is another short segment called This is Halloween. And it's coming out the same day as my actual episode 13, The Reason for Communion. Um, the reason for this is, is because yesterday was a pretty uh, intense, busy day. I got up, I made my video, I was trying to mix it down before I had to head off to the church because I was grilling hot dogs there for our fall festival where kids, you know, took hay rides and got candy and stuff like that. And, you know, we had a big bouncy house and stuff like that. Uh, so, and my wife went and uh, to a opera recital for the girls, for our daughters, because they're in the Boise Opera Kids Chorus. So they practiced there. Then they came over to the fall festival and had some fun. And then we dropped them off at the babysitters and uh, Liz and I went out for an evening together to have some fun because downtown Boise has like uh, some $12 specials down there for like food and stuff like that. So we went down and enjoyed that. But I think we got a bit of food poisoning <laughs> last night. So I was up till like three in the morning, got a couple hours of sleep and then got up. Uh, obviously woke up late for church, so I wasn't able to go in again today, guys. Sorry about that. But I just uh, finished remixing the episode 13 down, and I posted it up. And during the original mixing yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, I kept getting posts from Known by God on Telegram. Um, you guys heard those dings on my video from, like, Carolyn Zeit posting stuff up as I was mixing. There were more dings from No My God uh, once again with this prophetic word from, uh, and I'm going to butcher her name again. I'm going to, uh, Patty Tetch, Tetro, Tetro. So, again, I'm, I'm messing it up, but I'm going to open it up here so my face might get a little bright because of <laughs> what I'm going to be reading. But, uh... I didn't see it until I posted up my videos today because they were you know, I was in sh such a rush that um, you know I kept seeing all his dings and all the messages or her dings that I'm not sure who known by God is but I kept seeing the messages that they kept posting up and I'll go I'll, I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow or with technically today so got up posted up my video about the reason for communion and where I went into my spiel about Halloween and just the corruption that the devil tried to do and twist it and he's got his claws so deep into this holiday now that it's just become a corrupted holiday based on just evil demonic activity and it's like how do we compensate for that how do we change this around how do we make it and return it back to the glory of god of what it was originally intended to be with all hallows eve and all saints day and all souls day and um the minute I posted up my video um, where it was down or where it was uploading so that you guys can watch it, I went and read these. Sure enough, true to form, she responds with her own prophetic word tying it in. And this is really interesting. And I think we need to take heed and pay attention to what she is saying here. So let me just read it quick. There's two of them that she posted up. <clears throat> this is called Declare War. Um, it's from the prayer journal of Patty Tetro. And again, or Tetro, sorry if I'm spelling that wrong, or Tecro. Um, but it goes, do you know how much power I have? For doesn't my word say that you can move mountains, which is Matthew 17, 20. But there are many of my children who don't use their power. For I have given you authority to be used against your enemy, the devil and its demons. For what? <clears throat> for I want you to declare war against Halloween this year like you have never before. For I am tired of evil deeds being carried out against women and children every year. And I also want to send a message to all my children that they should not take part in this holiday earmarked for evil, torture, and death. So come, my army of light, and partner with me. For now, in this assignment against this most important holiday to the devil. For I, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. First, I want you to take authority over incantations, hexes, vexes, curses, spells, and assignments and declare them uh, that they are null and void and send them back on who sent them. So whoever's doing this, we declare them null and void and to be boomeranged back upon them. Then I want you to declare that Halloween is being taken over by my kingdom. Then call forth my 
angel armies to infiltrate every coven, every gathering place of evil to bring harm to the innocent and to completely destroy their plans of evil. Declare that good overcomes evil, darkness is overcome by light, and that I am replacing Halloween with my celebration of my goodness and love. And also call forth truth to be revealed to my children of what Halloween stands for and for them not to take part whatsoever. And there's some verses of Romans 12, 21, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And Job 12, 22, he shines a spotlight into caves of darkness, hauls the deepest darkness into the noonday sun. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's another post from her, which she put up from another person called Gail Newbury. And I get this all from um, uh, known by God telegram site. Sorry, I had a brain freeze there for a second, but Gail Newberry pretty much confirms it <laughs> by saying, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of his blood, I take authority over incantations, hexes, vexes, curses, spells, and assignments against the darkness and declare that they are canceled, that they are null and void and boomerang back uh, to those who sent them. I call forth the host of heaven to infiltrate every coven and every gathering place of evil used to bring harm to the innocent and to completely destroy their plans for evil. Lord, I decree and declare October 31st, Halloween, is overtaken by your kingdom of light and replaced with a celebration of your goodness and love. For good always overcomes evil and light always overcomes darkness. I call for that which Halloween stands for to be revealed to your children, its hold broken over their hearts and minds, and the desire to participate removed by your truth in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will close that out. Um, yeah, this is this is the thing that I was trying to mention yesterday, and I, I read this, and at first I was kind of like, oh, we're just going to wipe it all out, but then... I saw later on in those two messages, yes, we're bringing in the new celebration of truth and light and love that God is trying to push forth in this takeover of Halloween. And I was like, yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. How do we expel the demonic activity from Halloween? How do we ruin it and take it all out and bring in the celebration, this harvest festival, this, this time of uh, renewal of truth, of light and love? And when you think about it, um, it's, it's so embedded into our system, into our way of life, especially here in America. It seems to be spreading more around the world. And I think that's due to the American influence that we have. Um, and of course, with all the new technology we have with TV and radio and movies and stuff like that is starting to be incorporated in different places that never really was celebrated it all that much. <clears throat> or if they did, it was in the various aspects of the old school ways of All Hallows Eve and All Saints Day and All Souls Day, but now it's starting to get corrupted there as well. And as I was mentioning how the devil even does his black masses on Christmas and Easter, well, he does it openly here in Halloween because he's got his threshold, his fingers, his claws so deep and embedded into that holiday that it's now just used mainly for evil. It's for the exploitation of demonic activity and things like ghouls and goblins and witches and vampires and stuff like that. And what I was saying previously of how gargoyles, were used in architecture to stare, scare away other demons or other more scary gargoyles, you know, so that they wouldn't have dominion over that particular place or province. Um, if we even incorporated that into what Halloween technically was, when you think about it, even if it was that, and I don't think it is, but even if it truly was that, where kids are dressing up as, you know, horrific demons or scare away demons, they don't do that if you understand what I'm trying to say, like even if it was the, the basis for Halloween, nobody does that. It is today more for the exploitation of demonic activity and evilness and, you know, giving the devil full reign because you're in agreement and in acceptance of what he is trying to do on that particular day. It's not a calling off or a rebuking of the devil so much as it is partnering with him. 
And it's sad because I actually like things of Halloween. I really enjoy the holiday. I enjoy horror movies. Granted, they're older horror movies from probably 60s or 70s on back, you know, when good actually overtook evil, like good one in the films and today all we see is just uh this bloodlust and slasher films and gore and stuff like that and evil running rampant and winning in the films today i don't really care for that stuff i like watching films where good triumphs over evil especially when it ties into the christian aspect of it like you see in certain hammer horror films and such um i do enjoy that and it, it does it does bother me to see all these festivities of like you know kids being towed on a tractor ta on a tractor uh, trailer sorry i'm getting a little tongue tied there you know with hay and it's like oh how how demonic you know it's like oh kids eating candy how satanic you know we're incorporating these things that should be of fun and of truth and light and of joy with the lord and we're bringing it in and citing it and partnering it with darkness and uh how kids are being taught this from an early age to incorporate this evil activity into their daily lives and i just i wish i knew how to really stop that or branch off from it or take it back to the lord from the evil activity and there's two ways that this can happen that that i see are the only two ways that happen uh, the first way is that it's going to just take decades upon decades of deconstructing halloween piece by piece year by year slowly you know dissolving the demonic activity from it until we you know usher in this wave of what it used to be and we're back to the basics or the second way is it's going to be instantaneously stopped like almost within a day like god's going to come shake the planet we're going to be awakened and aware to what is happening now technically it might not be on halloween it could be any day and i'm talking in the shaking of what's going to be happening these days and when we see god and the world for what it truly is i think halloween is just going to abruptly stop for the activities that it is and i'm hoping for the latter because i think that'll be that'll be a swift kick to justice uh <clears throat> with the demonic activity that's going on with that holiday and I could see it uh, maybe returning and celebrating um, God for who he is and his truth and his light and his love. And there, there'd still be candies, there'd still be hay rides, there'd still have the, the fall feasts, you know, and you, you'll have the cornucopias and the pumpkins and all that stuff. And even kids maybe dressing up in particular costumes that aren't so demonic, that aren't portraying or um, in agreement with um these demonic beings with be it witches ghouls vampires werewolves stuff like that i just wanted to bring that up because it's it's going to be a tough one and it is still a tough one for me i wanted to buy like maybe say uh soul cookies and maybe some old old like all hallows eve tracks you know like pamphlets that kids can read and give those away as like candy this year because i still want to give something to kids you know and still be a celebration of light and love and just like i said we need to call out the dark well like what patty said too we need to call out the darkness and call it the hexes and incantations and curses and these demonic activities that they're doing we need to put a stop to that and we need to somehow incorporate all the things that were good or originally incorporated into all hallows eve and all saints day back to god and back to his way and remove all this demonic activity and try not to celebrate the worship of death and worship of terror and torture that halloween is because the devil does use it for his own activity so it's just something I wanted to bring up um, this is just a short message I know I could go deeper into this but it's just a little nugget for you guys to have probably a tidbit I think I'll make this a tidbit so I think I I have just enough space to get that done so 15 minute mark so I guess that's it um, I, I want to say happy Halloween I think I'll say happy Hallows Eve and All Saints Day and All Souls Day and let's try and bring this back to the Lord and remove the demonic activities from it so our children can live happier more fruitful lives in the lord in jesus name i pray amen god bless i'll talk to you later bye